Hello there, Ospreys and Jags fans. I'm Mike Brandy. Welcome to Just Jags, where we discuss all things Jacksonville Jaguars. And we are back. The Jaguars return home to Jacksonville after losing 31 to 7 to the Seattle Seahawks. Now, Seattle is a tough place to play, so hopefully some home cooking can help the Jags right the ship. That being said, one of the best teams in the AFC and my hometown team, the Buffalo Bills are coming to Duval, which will surely be a tough test for the Jags. Here's head coach Urban Meyer on facing the top-ranked Bills defense. There are two corners there. The one on our left side's elite, um, and the other corner is very good. So it starts with coverage. They can play make man coverage, and then uh, uh, consistently, and then you just see the defensive line. I mean, it's it's one of those teams that they maybe not have the you know the highest paid guy in the NFL, but all four of those guys are really really good so all three levels this is as good a team as I've seen. The Jaguars defense has plenty to focus on when it comes to preparing for the Buffalo Bills dynamic spread offense. One thing we're all kind of focusing on though is Josh Allen versus Josh Allen. For the first time ever Jaguars defensive lineman Josh Allen will meet Buffalo Bills quarterback Josh Allen on the football field. Here's the Jaguars Josh Allen on the potential of sacking the Bills quarterback of the same name. I'm just looking forward to, to playing against this team, man, and looking forward to playing against him. You know, he's he's been playing at a high level recent. You know, he's been evading sacks recent. You know, he's been getting out the pocket. He's been scrambling. His own line does a really good job in protecting him. Uh, so I love this challenge. You know, I can't. I don't want to really speak that. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, we're going to get after them. Uh, but we have to do it early and throughout the whole game. Well, that's all I got for you for this edition of Just Jags. I'm Mike Brandy, and I'll catch you down the road. Hello there, Ospreys and Jags fans. I'm Mike Brandy, and welcome to Just Jags, where we discuss all things Jacksonville Jaguars. Welcome back as the good times are rolling here in Duval as the Jags are coming off their first win in the United States since 2020 after upsetting Bills Mafia 9-6. Next up, the Jags go on the road to face their division rival, the Indianapolis Colts, who are currently fighting for their playoff lives. Here is Jags quarterback Trevor Lawrence on preparing for a Colts defense that leads the league in turnovers. Knowing that they're trying to knock it out, they do a good job in zone of you know, getting in windows, and they, I think they've had 10 interceptions and 10 fumbles, so they, they're really balanced there. They do a good job. So that's another another game where you got, you're playing against a great defense, and you just got to be prepared and um, maximize all of our opportunities. That's one thing, like I said, we didn't do, and we can get better, and obviously we still won, so that just shows um, how much better we can get, so it's a positive. The Colts' offense has been clicking on all cylinders lately. Colts quarterback Carson Wentz's decision-making has improved since the start of the season, and wide receiver Michael Pittman has become a consistent weapon. But the tandem running backs of John Vitera and Naeem Hines have proved to be a defensive coordinator's nightmare. Here's the man who had the game of his career last week, Jags defensive end Josh Allen, on the challenge of stopping Jonathan Taylor. He breaks tackles, he's in and out of backs, uh, and he can catch the ball well. So, you know, he's a, he's a great physical running back, and it's a good challenge this week. Uh, we have been statistically good against the run, and that's, you know, we're hoping to keep that trend going, and uh, we have all faith that we will. And, you know, for us, we have to stop the run. That's all I got for you for this edition of Just Jags. I'm Mike Brandy. My catch. Hello there, Ospreys and Jags fans. I'm Mike Brandy, and welcome to Just Jags, where we discuss all things Jacksonville Jaguars. And just like that, the Atlanta Falcons are back in the playoff hunt. But this show isn't about the Falcons. This is just Jags. And, well, the Jags have to regroup after putting up a fight against the Falcons, but ultimately losing 21-14 at home. The Jaguars have now lost three straight games. Go figure. Their next opponent, the Los Angeles Rams, have also lost three straight. That's after adding the talents of Von Miller and Odell Beckham. Something has to give. Here's head coach Urban Meyer with his thoughts on facing former Jaguar and current Ram, Jalen Ramsey. Competitive spirit, number one. He's, uh, he gets really upset when something doesn't go right. And some people don't like that. I love that. We have a guy called Rudy Ford like that. He gets really upset when things don't. Now, oops, now you got to contain that. And I call it focused energy on the next play. A competitor number one and skill set. So far, the Jaguars have not won a road game in the 2021 season. No, the win in London doesn't count. That was a home game. Gideon went on the road against a Rams team that wants to end their own three-game skid is no easy task. 
especially with a Ram defense that's stacked with talent with names like Bob Miller, Aaron Donald, and Jalen Ramsey. Here's Jaguars quarterback Trevor Lawrence on going up against the Rams defense. Obviously, you got to be conscious of a few of those guys. You know, you got Aaron Donald and Jalen Ramsey in the back end and Von Miller. Like, they got some guys scattered around that are, that are really good players. So, you know, we've seen Von, and obviously we know what he can do. Um, so we'll go up against him twice, which is kind of ironic. You, we would have never thought that at the beginning of the year, but that's just how the NFL works, I guess. Well, that's all I got for you for this edition of Just Jags. I'm Mike Brandy, and I'll catch you down the road.